Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on one of our winter quilts. This is a quilt that we put together here, or quilt top uh, put together here via the quilt shop. It's a free Bonnie Hunter pattern called Crooked Courthouse Steps. The link should be down in the show more if you ever wanted to do it. There's hundreds, or actually maybe there's lots, there's lots of free patterns on her website. So if you want to find a way to bust your scraps, there's definitely one of them. And uh, we gave this away to one of our fans. So. It's going to Tanya, and we chatted on uh, video chat, and uh, we picked her backing and some thread and a stitch out, and now we're just continuing on this beautiful project. So here, I'll show you a little bit so you can see. We already got it rolled once because I wanted you to be able to see the, the bright green thread stitch out on the backing uh, as well. Um, the GoPro and Walt go back and forth doing the stitch out. So here we go. And we chose a very lovely nature garden one. It's our beautiful dragonfly, butterfly, and bumblebee with flower and leaves. I thought it would make a fantastic addition to this um, beautiful quilt, the way it kind of goes around. You got different colored flowers, different colored bumblebees, different colored um, butterflies, all sorts of good stuff. Now this is from my scraps, just a scrappy stash. Um, some pieces I only had one or two of, or you know, some I had more of, like I think the, that was the last of the ladybug fabric up there. Uh, but each piece kind of pretty much holds a memory. So, and it's nice to be able to take your fabric that you've been using for other projects and making things for people and making things for yourself and making things to you may possibly even sell, make some money, but they still have a sentimental value. So, uh, and fabric will always have a sentimental value to me. It's what, you know, we have to wear it. So. <laughs> and use it, so let's make it look pretty. Beautiful butterfly stitch out here. And that's one of uh, Gwenny Simpson's block. I put in here this beautiful quilt because she sent a bunch. And though she said she didn't want me to put it in there, I still did because I think it looks lovely. And I really liked the texture of this fabric here up at the top. So, and um, I don't know, I just sometimes things are very, um, Tactoral, you like to touch them and feel them. That's why we love to touch our fabrics. Lots of people don't like to buy online. Uh, they want to feel it unless they know it's 100% cotton or something like that. Then you know, then that changes things. So I've I bought fabric before, thinking it was 100% cotton, and it actually had a stretch to it. So, and that wasn't working for one of the quilts I was trying to make. I can't use that stretch fabric. So. Per, per part of the piece, right? So, yeah, no. But lots of people like to feel their fabric. That's why I like working with flannels. This is flannel right here. There's a couple little bits of flannel on here. Um, just recycling and reusing all the bits and bobs that I have to make something pretty. And I think it turned out really nice. I love the pop of colors of the pink and the orange here and there. And still got some dark colors as well, some bright colors. It's not just, and I tried to mix it up as much as I can. Though I did realize after I was starting to stitch some, some, some pieces are very similar and close together, but that, you know, it's okay, it's okay. It's all gonna be all right. And I think that was the last of this piece right here that I had, I had that for a while. I think that was actually a sample piece. Oh, there was no, there was two. There's probably maybe two or three in here, but that's about it. Beautiful flower there, Isn't that gorgeous. And it's just gonna come right up in here. So it was a little puffy. I just wanted to make sure things were gonna lay down and not um, get tucked under or anything as it was working this way. Lots of threads. I've been trimming that like crazy, let me tell you. Oh, it's gonna do a nice little bumblebee. Oh, how cute. It's gonna look so pretty with that yellow and the pink there. Little bumblebee wing. See, and this is another little bit of fabric. I didn't, I don't think I have any, anything left or very little. It was, it was a very tiny little stashy mount. But it's making a, it made a beautiful quilt top. You could have made them bigger. I think I, my blocks were eight and a half on the uh, website. I think they're seven and a half. You can add and decrease and whatever it is, as, as many as you like. Keep with a certain theme in the center. Work your way out from there. Or, or always ending off with the same dark colors or something like that. I think that would be a nice little 
transition or using always, you know, if you know it usually takes three to four, you're using three or four of those colors just to, you know, I don't know, depending on how big your stash is. You may not have a lot of scraps, but you got quite a bit of yardage on this one and this one and this one. You can still do the same thing, just mix and match. Or if you're really desperate need for scraps, just ask, ask your local guild. You know, put your put your name out there on the newsletter that you're looking and or willing to trade something for something. You know, barter system. It still works nowadays. You just you gotta make it work for you. Oh, another beautiful bumblebee. Isn't that pretty? Love the colors. Yeah, this has some lovely texture to it. Lovely texture to it. Feels really pretty. It's got a little bump to it. I love your little heart, camo hearts there, and other hearts, colorful hearts. Very pretty. So thank you, Gwenny, for donating all that fabric and blocks. I greatly appreciate it. We will, we will make something with them. And congratulations, Tanya, on this beautiful quilt top. I hope you uh, love it as much as I had uh, the fun of making it. And I know you were there as I was making it, so... That's, uh, that's nice to know. So thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, it's really lovely. And, uh, and you don't have to be restricted. There's some Christmas fabric in here. There's some musical fabric in here. There's oranges and lemons and limes. That's some of Pat's fabric that she's donated to the shop. You know, there's obviously some beautiful poppies that came from a project. Someone said to keep the straps. I'm like, okay, out of mind. They don't, they don't want them. I'll take them. I'll find some, something to do with them or find somebody who else wants them. So That's beautiful. But I like that red. That red and kind of reminds me of oriental fabric. Pretty pretties. It's doing a butterfly now. Yep. So that's what Walt and I are going to finish working off in the next little bit. Um, takes, uh, I think it's 20 minutes, half an hour to go all the way across ish, somewhere around there. And, um, and I really like the color of this red and hopefully she does too. Cause she said like a bright pink, you know, neon, oh, sorry, pink, not pink. That's not pink. I meant green. She said like a bright green. I think she said neon or fluorescent, but this is about as close as I could get. That was avocado. <laughs> Yeah, there's lots and lots of free patterns out there. That's try usually what we try to work with uh, on our weekend projects, our live streams at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturdays, and uh, or or just working on some fun stuff, sharing it with you, sharing sharing our time together, hanging out. I love the ladybug, lady and one little star, one tiny little star. Oh, I think it's doing a dragonfly right now. Yes, there we go. Oh, dragonfly on the dragonfly fabric. <gasps> that is awesome. So cute. How special is that? That worked out well. Very pretty. Yeah, the little dragonfly is gonna have a little, a little a star on his back or belly. I think it's awesome. Hey, that little, all the, the um, reindeer names here. A little bit of fabric. I don't even know where I got that from. It wasn't very big. It wasn't very big, that's for sure. I think it's only in here a couple of times as well. So that's what Walt and I are working on. We hope you have an amazing day and the sun shines upon you and your heart is lifted into this next, you know, season of what we got to go through. Because <laughs> winter's coming. So that means snow. Just got to deal with it. <laughs> have a great day, everybody. Big hugs from us at the Mom, Mom, Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. And we'll see you soon. Take care.